Hello and welcome to another episode of Rock's Garage. I'm your host, Dan. Today, we're gonna to be installing part number SEAT-721 on this 2013 Club Car DS. Now let's take a look at what comes in your kit and the tools that you're gonna need. So today we have the rear seat back cushion and the rear seat bottom cushion. Next up, we have our foot plate. Next up, we have our main flip frame. This is where your seat bottom cushions are gonna to mount to. And finally, we have our vertical support brackets, our main seat back brackets, our seat cushion plates, our handrails, our foot plate brackets, and our box of hardware. Now that we've taken a look at everything that comes in the box, let's take a look at all the tools we're gonna to need. We have a 10 millimeter, 13 millimeter, and a 17 millimeter ratcheting wrench, an 11 millimeter open-ended wrench, quarter inch drive wrench, with a 10 millimeter, 11 millimeter, and an 11 millimeter deep well socket with an extension, 3 8 inch drive wrench with a 17 millimeter socket, a number three Phillips head, and a number four Phillips head. Now that we've taken a look at all the tools, let's go ahead and get started. Now that we've taken a look at all the parts that come in the kit and all the tools that you're gonna need, here's a few safety reminders for you. Remember, you wanna flip your key to the off position, set your parking brake, and set your tow run switch to tow if you have one. The first step in our installation process is to remove the top struts from the top itself. So the next step in our process is to remove the seat back. Now we wanna make sure that we retain our hardware and that we only use hand tools so they don't damage the threads either on the bolt or on the seat back itself. Now at this time we can go ahead and completely remove our top struts. The next step in this process is to remove the access panel so that we can get to the nuts to remove the sweater basket. Now that our sweater basket is removed, it's time to go ahead and remove the rear bumper. Now with the bumper, you're going to retain the hardware, but you can go ahead and throw your bumper out. Now that our rear bumper is removed, we're going to go ahead and attach our main seat back brackets. Now, we're only going to attach the two front bolts for our brackets so that we can attach our main seat frame later on. Now that our main seat back brackets are installed with the hardware loose in the front, it's time to move forward with the foot plate and the vertical supports. Now, the vertical supports are gonna be sandwiched in between the foot plate and the bumper mounting points on the cart. Now, it's gonna be easier to thread the bolts through the foot plate first, as then it'll be a little easier for you to line the bolts up as you put the vertical supports on. Now that our foot plate is installed and our main seat back brackets are loosely installed, it's time to bring in the main flip frame. Now, the main flip frame is gonna install underneath of the main seat back brackets when we go ahead and bolt them in. All right, now we're gonna to move to the back of the flip frame where the flip frame meets the seat brackets. Now, this is gonna take a little bit of maneuvering, but it does line up. So now that all your hardware is loosely installed and everything lines up, we can go ahead and tighten everything down. After the main flip frame is installed, it's time to bring in our handrails that we're gonna install on either end of the flip frame. Attaching your handrails to the flip frame, you wanna make sure that you take care not to scratch the body with the handrails. Now, in order to do that, the easiest way is to attach the bolt at the front of the flip frame first. If you're having issues lining the foot plate up, you can loosen the two bolts that hold it to where the bumper was mounted originally. 
Now that our handrails are installed, we can go ahead and install both of our seat back cushions. Now, when we do this, we want to make sure that we're only using hand tools so that we don't damage our hardware. All right, so now that our front seat cushion is installed, we're going to go ahead and start prepping our back seat cushion. Now, these back seat cushion plates are going to mount directly to the back seat cushion, and then these bolts are going to go through the top strut and through the back bracket. Now that our front seat back cushion is attached, we can go ahead and attach our rear seat back cushion and our top struts. Now our top struts are going to go in between our seat back cushion and the seat back brackets, and then they're going to install with the OE hardware at the bottom. Now that our seat back cushion and our top struts are installed, we can go ahead and reinstall our access panel. Now, we could have done this a little bit earlier, but we're going to do it at this step. Now that your access panel is installed, it's time to install the seat bottom cushion. Now, the easiest way to do this is to install the four screws in the corners of the cushions first so that everything stays lined up, and then you can install the four screws in the middle afterwards. Now that you've installed the seat bottom cushion, it's time to reinstall the factory top on top of the struts. Now that your factory top is reinstalled, just make sure you go back through and tighten down any hardware that you left loose. And once that's done, that completes the installation of part number SEAT-721 on this 2013 Club Car DS. Thanks for watching this episode of Rock's Garage, and I'll see you next time.